After a year and a half of work, the U.S. Senate passed legislation on Wednesday promoting the nation's microchip industry by a vote of 64 to 33. Today is a very good day for the American people and for the future of our country. I believe firmly that when signed into law, this bill will reawaken the spirit of discovery, innovation, and optimism that made America the envy of the world. During a trip last week to a major U.S. manufacturing region in the Midwest, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said the legislation would lessen America's reliance on China. No longer will America always ever be dependent on something offshore that was created here, made in America, invented here, and we will, again, have the jobs here. The bill will provide $52 billion in incentives for the U.S. semiconductor industry. But the measure is a downgrade of much more ambitious legislation addressing U.S. competition with China. But the bill's co-sponsor said this vote was a good start. Because this funding sends a message that the United States is putting a strong down payment on maintaining our edge in the global technology race and preventing global supply chains from being weaponized against the United States, or for that matter, against our allies. Over the past few years, China has continued to increase investments in its domestic industries, and particularly in areas that confer long-term strategic influence. With many Americans concerned about a weak economy and rising inflation, some conservatives criticized the cost of the bill, which is expected to create a $79 billion deficit over the next decade. Senator Bernie Sanders, who usually votes with Democrats, said this funding benefits wealthy corporations. The crisis is caused by the industry shutting down in America and moving abroad and today what we are doing is saying we are going to give you a blank check to undo the damage that you did. But ultimately, 17 Republicans voted for the funding, citing concerns about U.S. strategic competition with China. I think this is about national security and um, about making sure we have uh, uh, adequate supply here at home of things that are absolutely indispensable. Uh, I wish that were inexpensive, but in this particular situation, it's not. The U.S. House is expected to swiftly pass the legislation before leaving for summer recess. Then President Biden is expected to sign it into law.